Good evening, fourth graders. Today we're going to continue on with measurement in lesson four. I can solve multiplicative comparison word problems using measurement conversion tables. Okay, Sandy took the train to New York City. The trip took three hours. Jackie took the bus, which took twice as long. How many minutes did Jackie's trip take? So guys, what I would have get ready is having your time charts out because we want the one that has to do with the table on hours to minutes. So get that out. Okay, so I have my tables out and I'm going to first make tape diagram for Sandy and then for Jackie. All right, so over here, this is going to represent Sandy's trip, which took three hours. And then Jackie's took twice as long so let's make it something like that so twice as long means she did three hours here and then another three hours which basically means three plus three or three times two would give us six hours but now what they want is they don't want this just for six hours they want you to convert it into minutes so how many minutes are in one hour? Right here, 60 minutes are in one hour. So we are going to take 60, whoops, 60 times six, zero, six times six is 36. So it took 360 minutes. All right, Colton's puppy weighed three pounds, eight ounces at birth. The, the vet weighed the puppy again at six months, and the puppy weighed seven pounds. How many ounces did the puppy gain? So we can kind of like make a timeline for this problem. Okay. And first we need to look at what he weighed at birth. Okay. So at birth, he weighed three pounds eight ounces and then at six months he went up to four pounds so now and then we're going to stop at seven pounds because that's what he's weighing now so from three pounds to eight ounces he jumped to four pounds that's just adding another eight ounces because remember there are 16 ounces in one pound. So for him to move up another, another pound and reach to four pounds, it would be eight ounces because eight ounces plus another eight ounces is 16 ounces, which would bring us up to another pound. Then from four pounds to three pounds, we gained, I mean, seven pounds, we gained up three pounds. So basically he grew three pounds and eight ounces very similar to the exact same amount that he was born with so he kind of like doubled in size didn't he so what we have to do now is we have to convert three pounds into ounces and that's why our tables are so important so how many ounces are in one pound well we have 16 so if we take 16 and we multiply it by three we're going to get 48 ounces but don't forget the 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 part of the extra eight ounces that we have to add on so now we have 56 total ounces so the puppy gained 56 ounces okay Jesse bought a two liter bottle of juice her sister drank 650 milliliters of that juice how many milliliters were left in the bottle? Okay, so remember what we have to do, we have to write down that conversion. One liter, remember that's that base unit. Um, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. We're going to the right, we're going to milliliters. And in that case, there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. So if we continued with this, 
because they had a two liter bottle of juice, two liters would equal, would be double that, would be 2,000 milliliters. So we got our first number, which is 2,000, but we have to remember that the sister drank some, and she drank 650 milliliters. Okay, so when we do this, okay, zero, can't do the tens or the hundreds, we have to go to the thousands and take a one there, and we gotta take another, I'm gonna give that to the 10, and that would be five. So 1,350 milliliters was le were left in the bottle. Change is the end result of all true learning. First problem tonight, Hudson has a chain that is one yard in length. Maya's chain is three times as long. How many feet of chain do they have in all? So get out those charts, the tables, that have the yard to feet. And maybe draw a diagram that's showing three times as long. It's a key, a key fact, a key word in there. Three times as long. And last one. John weighs eight times as much as his baby sister. John weighs 64 pounds. How much does his baby sister weigh in ounces? So we are going to need to know about the pounds and the ounces and those conversions there. So get out those tables. Life is the art of drawing without an eraser. Meaning, make all the mistakes you can because in life we're learning and we're growing.